In this video I'm going to show you how to do standard deviation on your TI-30X calculator. And the best way to do this, as always, is to just go straight into a very simple and very quick example. So you've got a set of data here, you'll notice that the 12s are repeated, so we're going to have to use a frequency function so that we don't have to type 12 repeatedly, so more efficient. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get our calculator into stat mode. Um, this calculator is already in stat mode, but I'll show you it again. So second function, and then stat, which is on this data key. And we want one variable statistics. We've just got one set of data. If we had like an X and a Y series, maybe we were doing some sort of regression, you would need two variable. So just press equals. So we've got second function stat equals. That gets us into the stat mode. So we can now enter our data. So unsurprisingly, you just press the data key. Um, I've already entered the data in here. So we've just got five, press down twice, seven, down twice, nine, down twice. Then to enter the 12, we're doing 12. I'll show you that again, 12, then down, put in the frequency as five, down. And the last number we've got is four. And then we've got a frequency of 1. This is very simple to do. Just enter your data and press down twice if there's nothing new. Or if you're doing frequency, just change the values of the frequency to the number. So we've got 5 here, so we're putting frequency as 5. Last step, very simple. We just do the calculation. This calculator does it in a very nice way. As you'll see, if we press the stat there button here, just press that, calculates everything for you. So we've got n of 9, you count these, there is of course 9 of them. Press the along key, we get to x bar. x bar is our mean, so that gives us the mean of the um, data. Moving along one more time, we've got this 3.32, this is what the calculator calls sx. This is your standard deviation based on the n minus 1 definition. So you're taking your standard deviation and on the bottom of the fraction you've got n minus 1. Move along one more time, you've got this 3.13. This is the standard deviation when you're just dividing by n instead of n minus 1. So that's how you do standard deviation. As one final point, you probably don't want to be stuck in this mode forever. So if you press second function and then the stat there, so you've got exit stat and then enter for yes. That gets you out of the stat mode. So your calculator is now back to normal. If you want to do statistics, you have to go back into the statistics mode. So hopefully this has been helpful to you and thank you very much for watching.